Now I'm going to talk about how I turn on and off my screen. So I'm going to use three apps to do it. I'm going to use Motion Detector, Tasker, and the Secure Settings app. Uh, Motion Detector and Tasker are paid currently, and Secure Settings is free currently. So what Motion Detector will do is it'll monitor your front-facing camera for any changes in pixels, and it'll send that over to Tasker saying there's motion that has happened. Tasker will then use the Secure Settings app to turn on your screen, and then after a delay that you set up, it'll turn off your screen. So now I'm going to show you how I've configured Motion Detector. So it's currently running right now, so I'm just going to stop it. So what you want to do is you'll go into the settings. I changed the suspend to be two seconds long. So what that'll do is just, once it detects motion, it'll pause looking for motion for two seconds and then it'll start looking again. The reason I did this is I didn't want to overload task with all sorts of motion commands and have it execute my my tasks uh, too frequently. Next, if you want, you can go into the sensitivity and change any settings here. I just put my sensitivity up a little bit higher um, and kept all the rest of the defaults the same. Lastly, just scroll down here and you're going to check auto start. So basically what that means is the motion detector will start as soon as the application is launched. Okay, going back. The only thing you want to change on the main page here is all the way at the bottom you're going to want to turn Notification Send On. Once you set those settings, you can turn on your motion detector so it'll start sending events to Tasker. No changes are necessary in the Secure Settings app, it just needs to be on your phone. Now I'm going to open up Tasker and show you some settings that need to be configured there. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into the Preferences and uncheck Beginner Mode. So you just uncheck it here. What that will enable you to do is import my screen on project. So what you'll do is long press on the home button and then tap on the import. Then you can browse to the screen on project. I'm going to make this available to you in the info of the video. I'll provide the link there to it. So then you'll save it to your SD card and then you can browse to it and open it. Once it's opened, you should have the screen on project loaded on the bottom of the screen here. So the only thing you'll need to change is in the tasks the timer and then you'll tap on this go to statement here and you can change the count. So this count here is the number of seconds it'll count before it turns off the screen. So just calculate out the number of seconds um, that you want to keep your screen on for and make the change right there. The other thing you'll need to do is you'll need to turn on administrator mode. So it'll prompt you um, there will be like a little exclamation point if it's not already turned on for Tasker. It'll prompt you to turn it on and then you can just tap on that and then it will show you where you need to turn it on in your phone. Once that's done, everything should work for you. Okay, we're almost there. Just two more apps to configure, at least with my setup. So the next one is Auto Start. So what Auto Start will do is when your phone is turned on, it'll launch the apps that you want. So obviously you need to turn it on and then you can add applications. So I have Motion Detector loading first, and remember we set the settings in Motion te Detector to automatically turn it on, and then I'm loading Impure Home. And I just have a start delay of one second, and then next app delay of three seconds. So as soon as I start up my phone, it'll load up Motion Detector, turn it on to trigger the motion, then load up Impure Home. Now the reason I have that is I have on Auto Reboot to reboot my phone once a day. So when I reboot it, it'll automatically load up those apps and it'll look like nothing ever happened, but it'll just refresh my memory of my phone. Auto reboot is simple to configure, so I'll just tap on it here, and then you'll turn it on. Now this is where you'd need to root your phone for it to work. So it's asking for super user access, so you can just grant it here, and then it's going to say, it's been granted super user rights, so it'll reboot your phone. And then you can just set the time of when you want it to reboot. I'm just going to leave mine on at 3 a.m. here. So that's it. Everything's configured and ready to go. I know there's a couple different apps that have to be configured and used, you know, to get this all up and running, but in the grand scheme of things, I think it's still a pretty cheap solution to have this fully functioning wall-mounted phone or tablet. If you have any other ways that you do it, feel free to post it in the comments. Share for other people. Uh, I know there's a lot of different ways to have this set up, so definitely post them if you have some good ideas. Thanks for watching, and if you use Avera, make sure to check out the next video in this series on how to set up the app within Vera.